we are at Scaling Dam. I don't know if you've been here, it's in between Whitby and Gisborough and it's absolutely gorgeous. So a little bit windy, hope you can hear me okay. We're not going to be here walking around today and this is our second video so welcome to our second video and I'm going to quickly run through this morning why we use the sliding tray and what we kind of have in our boot. This is uh, items we have in our van permanently so that whenever we want to kind of camp or, or go out for the day we've always got everything that we need so just to quickly run through um, this sliding tray came from um, a place just off the M1 near Chesterfield Mark and Vale Camper Van Bits it's called great team there so big shout out to them um, brilliant products but this um, comes out by 60 mil I think it is and literally you just slide back in, clicks in, done. Comes out, clicks out. Really good tip, guys, is use some of this. It's like a like a rubber kind of sheeting that you cut to size. Benefit of this is it stops things from sliding around when you've got it in the tray because the tray is metal. So anything that you've kind of got in there, it will slide about. But if you have one of these uh, these rubber sheets in there, just to protect it, it stops everything from sliding around. So first thing that we've got um, in our boot, I mean, this is everything we've done. You can't buy it as kind of a pack. It's, um, it's individually sourced. Um, and then we've kind of arranged it all kind of fit in um, and synchronize how it does. So first thing, um, that we've got is these storage containers these are really good in this one we've got the Kadak, uh, Kadak Safari stove not sure if you've had a go one of those absolutely awesome bit of kit uh, brilliant for cooking outside we've got the plates in here we've got small plates we've got big plates we've got bowls everything is in there that we need in terms of the Kadak stove so he kind of goes in there on this side, very similar, same kind of storage box, but in this one we've got food, we've got chopping, spare chopping boards, we've got scourers, we've got crisps, we've got cornflakes, you name it, we've got it in there. So that kind of sits against that one, nice and neat. Then we have smaller version, same kind of box, nice lid. In here is all our tea, coffee, um, we've got the cups as well, that just sits on there. They all integrate as well, so the good thing about these guys is you can actually work them in different ways. You can put things in the van that you want to take depending what you're doing, or you can have everything in together. They're not going to move about, swap and change depending on what activities and where you're going. So absolutely brilliant. Um, final one, same one again. In this one, we've got lots of tinned food so all the food it's there it's accessible it's in there and then this is a great bit of kit this is just a, a collapsible washing up bowl but when it falls out it literally sits into the slot so it doesn't move and then we've sourced a little chopping board which kind of sits at the other side so I'll show you the opposite way around if you can have it either way that kind of grips in there that slots in there stops it from moving works a treat but we have it the other way for a reason which I'll show you very shortly so that clicks in there that goes on there we have a larger chopping board again which we've sourced for the other side so that slots in that one so on the top of there we've got a full you can see that we've got a full kind of work surface as well which um, it saves them to get a table out it works behind that we have two 20 litre both slot in there little table coffee table folds out nicely slots in the back holds the water tanks in place can't go anywhere without gas We've got gas there as well that's for the Kadak stove just goes in the back there if you're not wanting to get the Kadak stove out I suggest you get one of these Primus absolutely brilliant um, we'll show you how the kettle works. So we have these, collapsible kettle from Camper Van Bits. It's made by Outwell, great bit of kit. There's lots in there, we'll show you kind of how it sits on the primer stove. 
slots in really nice. You've kind of got the, uh, the little bit of a windbreaker as well. So when you're kind of making a cup of tea outside, it might be a bit breezy like it is today and it's not going to blow out. So great bit of kit. If it's really windy, you can modify and move your boxes around to give you the shelter that you need. So again, everything's versatile, everything's movable, everything's workable, depending kind of how you want it to be. Um, but we're just going to show you today, we're just showing you a few bits and pieces of, of how we have our van set up. So that's how we do it. Um, stove cans behind there. I don't know if you've seen one of these guys, but this is really, really cool. This is by Front Runner. It's a kitchen utensil set. And we open it out. Two little hooks, it folds back on itself. And what we tend to do is it just kind of clips in there, clips in there, and then we've got the full access to knives, forks, spoons, we've got barbecue equipment, um, utensils, we've got a little knife with a corkscrew, you definitely need a corkscrew. So that sits in there, that's our kitchen, kitchen area for cooking. We've got the washing up bowl. Next thing guys is we have a shower. Now this shower doubles up as a tap and we're just going to kind of quickly demonstrate this guys. So basically what we've got is we've got two connections on the end. Now what we've done is we've attached a microphone holder and cable underneath the shelf which comes with the VW California. So we've kind of fastened it, bolted it in there. So that's then adjustable and what we can do is that then sits nicely in there. You've got the tap, the other end which is the pump just goes into the water container depending which one you're using really really simple that works now when we want to use it as a shower rather than um, a tap all we do is we take this out we've got the shower head there as well you can see we unscrew this and what happens is this then fastens up on the top of the little clip up there as well which holds it in place and then we can have a shower so really, really simple. We're not into things being complex. Um, yeah, water's not going to be warm unless you boil the kettle. But you know what? If you need a shower and you're out camping, then it doesn't matter if the water's warm, cold, whatever. You know, you just want to sometimes get nice and clean. If you've been in the sea, it's nice just to kind of have a quick, uh, quick wash off. That's kind of the idea behind it. So that goes in there as well. That's the shower kit that we use. And um, that just folds away to the microphone, which is quite really nice and handy. So when you're not using it, there it goes. Same with the bowl. That just sits in there as well. Turns around for storage. Always have a gas canister. Always prime a stove. He goes in there as well. And then what we found is is because we've got a little boy now, um, he's coming to 10 months old, we need to have a push chair. And with having the van kitted out as we have, it's very, very difficult, obviously, to get the space that we uh, that we need. So we found a great, great push chair. Um, it's a company called Microlite. And uh, these are really, really good push chairs. No, it's not a van thing, but I suppose it is because we all have kids, I guess. But this is really good. I'll quickly show you how it falls out. So it falls out push chair it's a pram it's great it's sturdy and um, the company's made by solar cross so it's really really well made and robust but the best thing about it guys for van people is it folds up really small tucks in like this and the way that we've designed the back is it folds into here Falls in, all neat, all tidy. Unclip the kitchen. This then falls up. Lid falls up. Just to protect everything in there. And this just rolls up it's this way. So, 
clips together and we just kind of laid on the back there, it's out of the way, it's kind of nice, it keeps it tidy. And that's it for this section. Now this obviously just folds back in. There it is nice and tight. And then quickly just to run through what we have at the top here. So at the top we have three storage boxes. These are great. In here we each have a box. So we've got one for Holly, one for me, one for Harry. We have spare clothes in there. So we have pants, we have socks, we have um, few t-shirts maybe a, a pullover just to change the clothes so wherever we are we've got the we've got the option if we want to camp out we can um, we've got a change of clothes and a sleeping bag on there we've put a rail on here which is like an airline rail now the reason behind this is it's so we can clip things in, clip things out. Sometimes we might have a tea towel clipped in if we've got the kitchen kind of going. But we have our ladder. So our ladder just sits in there, out of the way, doesn't rattle. But that then is a telescopic ladder. We can unclip it and we can get access then to the, uh, to the roof. So that kind of stays there, out of the way. In here, we have a sack truck, which we use for work. That falls out, that tucks away nicely into the corner and out of the way. Back in. And then at this side, we have like a shower curtain, a cubicle, we have a mallet, we have the awning. Uh, okay. So that's really our boot, guys. That's, uh, that's the system that we use. We really, really hope it's been helpful. Um, please, please, please comment or you've got a VW van and you want a little bit of inspiration or you've got some great ideas yourself, we want to hear them. Um, this is going to be an interactive channel, we hope, where people will contact us, we'll kind of do videos on what you want us to do videos for. Uh, if you've got any shout outs, give us the shout outs, we'll put shout outs out for you as well. We'll get you in touch with the people that have really helped us with our van. Um, and yeah, so subscribe, hope you've enjoyed it. Please follow with our YouTube Instagram channel as well. Enjoy it.